This is the VMA Music Awards. This is the first one that I've ever really seen and had to expose. I saw this live and first thing when it properly fully starts you see little Uzi Vert giving a speech for the award and he throws the devil horns up. What a surprise. What a surprise at all. I mean he admitted that he saw the soul on Instagram live. He admitted that he saw the soul. So what do you expect? I mean, like I said, this is the first VMA show that I've ever really seen. Well, as I said, I mean, you got the devil horns here and thrown it up openly. What did you expect to me when he posted the video promoting the Baphomet and all that? What did you expect? I mean, every single VM, I've saw some of them, but never really exposed them. This is the first one, like I said, that I've exposed. Because there's not many people out there exposing this fully for what it is. See, I saw nearly the whole of the show and I took screenshots. These are screenshots from what I see. But as you can see, Devil Horns throwing it right up, giving homage to Lucifer, Satan, and then we look at some more images. Look what we have here. What a good role model he is. What a good father DJ Khaled is. Introducing his child. Look at this. Alien. With devil horns and the all seeing eye. He's introducing his children to this. Notice this in the background. Looks like an upside down cross doesn't it? Most likely is. Wouldn't surprise me. But as you see alien agenda. One eye symbolism, the all seeing eye symbolism. He's introducing his child to this. I mean, what, what a surprise it is. I mean, with that, I'm the one, yeah. He, his child basically had the Baphomet on a jacket. I mean, this should be the worst father of the year. I mean, what kind of father introduces their kids to Satanism? Honestly, these people shouldn't even have kids because he's leading this little child to hell. But he doesn't care, does he? These people will exploit, even exploit their own children to get a profit. It's how disgusting they are. I mean, alien with the all seeing eye. Google did the same with the solar eclipse, mocking it. Basically, it was two aliens throwing the moon back and forth. Of course, they make fun of it, make out like it's a joke, because the fallen angels that are aliens took over this world and now control this world. And of course, they're going to make a joke about it like it's so funny. It isn't funny because they took over the world. They're the ones in power now. The ones who control the Illuminati are demon possessed by falling angels. I mean, as you see, more zoomed in. All seeing eye, an alien. Says it all. Then you got this, this. Not many people probably know this. She she said she doesn't want to be known as a gay rapper. Well, basically raps all the time about... There are, there's honestly a song where she's saying, Suck my... You know what? But how can she have... A, a, I mean, it's a joke. How can she have a penis when she's a woman? It's the agenda to corrupt the masses into thinking 
I mean, she acts like a man. Get the gay agenda again. Black and white as well. Darkness becomes one with lightness. The name's Ma me or Maya, however it's pronounced. And she basically, all the way through her music videos, just raps about having sex with women. Yet she says she doesn't want to be known as a gay rapper, sure. Then you have these, of course, the after of their little moment, like always. Always crying about something, always after of their moment. Oh, why aren't we accepted? Why aren't we accepted? Oh, me, 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 it's all about me, the trans awareness, always after out the moment, don't they? Transgender soldier, what does this have to do with anything? It, all they were basically saying here is, oh, support the transgender movement, support it, support the transgender soldiers. I mean, honestly, it's a joke. They cry about everything. When are they going to say that, one, it's not normal? It isn't normal. If you were bought, meant to be a woman, God would have made you a woman. If you were meant to be a male, God would have made you a male. These people just can't accept it. It is a mental illness. Why it hasn't been classed as a mental illness yet, I don't know, because it clearly is. Well, they have them little moment crying, wanting people to feel sorry for them, accepting them, saying, oh, gays weren't allowed in the army, on and on and on, like always, crying. They always have to have their little moment. Then you have this, this blasphemy, Charla, however it's pronounced, that god. The God. So obviously, this person sees herself as a God. Bl straight up blasphemy. And notice how it's capitalized, meaning they are the God of the Bible. Straight up blasphemy. That's all it is. It's blasphemy. I mean, God. The God. No, you're not a God. The only God is the God of the Bible, Bible of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You ain't a God. You never will be. Except that, but this is the illusion and the brainwashing that Satan has promoted into the media that, as he said in the Garden of Eden, Oh, God just wants you to be done down. He doesn't want you to know the truth. He doesn't want you to know it. That's why he doesn't want you to eat the forbidden fruit. Oh, you shall surely not die if you eat this fruit. You shall know good and evil be as gods. That was the first lie ever. That's what's promoted in the Freemasons today, that they can be like gods. No. God, a uh, god cannot die, they are eternal, they've been there forever, these people ain't gods, they can die, as you see, Katy Perry, the host of all this, she was the host, throwing up the peace sign, which goes way back to Churchill, I mean honestly, like you say, false peace sign, Throwing it up. Then what do we have here? This that looks like the devil horns. Because this is who controls the industry. And who controls it all? The devil. Lucifer controls it all. This is homage to Satan. Because who has horns like these? Satan, the devil. This is who this is all promoting. Satan. They're sitting around Satan. Satan controls the music industry, controls the media, controls it all. As it says in the Bible, for Satan is the god of this world. Not the god of the Bible, he's the god of this world, the fallen world. 
And then what we have here, Lightning. This is Rihanna, where she was doing a live event. She was on stage performing a song. I don't really remember which one it was. Uh, but as you see, the lightning bolt striking down. What is the lightning bolt known as in the Bible? Lu Lucifer falling from heaven. And behold, I saw Satan fall from heaven like night lightning. Then you have it again. On the stage, it turns to blue. Strikes down around Rihanna. Lightning again. I mean, it's no surprise when Rihanna done a song at diamonds you're beautiful like diamonds in the sky which w really was a reference to satan satan is not diamonds represent satan and it's known as the false light because diamonds shine same as lucifer manifests itself as an angel of light then what do we have here the zionism star the Rockefeller, the Zionist, the false Jews that claim to be Jews but are of the synagogue of Satan. The real Jews don't represent this star because they know it's satanic. It's connected to the Baphomet and all that it isn't the star of David. It's all connected. It's just an excuse so they can throw it up. This one looks like an upside down star. Even though it's not, it's not a normal star. I mean, you look it up, and the Freemason, the Freemason lodge, you're gonna see this star. I noticed it's yellow, the exact same color, and the Freemason lodge. Then what do we have here? Beyonce performing a little show. This could one represent the female logo, but it's not fully connected upside down cross as we say no surprise with Beyonce I mean she's a complete sell out so it doesn't really surprise me then we have someone throwing up the 666 hand sign says it all who black and red again red simulates sacrifice demons blood Black symbolizes death, pain, darkness. From the 666 hand sign up twice. Says it all who, who controls this. But as we see. And I mean we just look at the logo. And the logo says it all. You know it's the. Uh, looks like a love heart. False love. The false love agenda. Of the Illuminati, the, the this is love. No, the only love in there's no love in this world. The only true love is Jesus Christ, because He died for us for our sins. Didn't have to. They beat him. They whipped him. They spat at him. They mocked him. Laughed at him. That is true love. He let let left he lied his life down for us didn't have to but did it shows his love for us that he cares for us we god didn't need us we needed god no see how it looks like an illuminati pyramid no surprise illuminati triangle illuminati pyramid all oh, occult symbolism right in that logo. Then we have this, we have share, which is not really a surprise. I mean, what do we have here? Men dressed in women's clothing. Not really surprised. This is a man. This isn't a woman. This is a man dressed up in drag as we say that is a man dressed in drag and shares had so much plastic surgery that she can't 
fully open her mouth because that's how much plastic surgery she's had. Notice the pagan love heart again. This is people wearing drag. They're not females, as we say. And then you got you got the one eye symbolism, one eye, and she's basically half naked. What a surprise! Promoting lust onto the masses. And you got Ed Sheeran. Look what is behind him: the Illuminati triangle, over and over again. Not really a surprise. I mean, he promoted in one of his music videos the 666 hand sign. These people were sold out. Then we have here the Music Awards. This is Rihanna again. Notice the lightning bolt. No, most of them will dance in the formation of a pyramid. Notice how it looks like a diamond. False light, the worship of diamonds. Then we have Beyonce. See the formation of a pyramid right here. Standing below the pyramid in light, false enlightenment that they believe. I mean, it's not really a surprise. Then we have this, we have a throne on the 666 hand sign, and what do we have? The Egyptian occult symbolism, again, 666 hand sign, throwing it up. Then we have it again, 666 hand sign, this is proof. Thrown it up, forming the six. Six, 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 because this is who these people worship. The beast. And this is something that nobody probably noticed because this is the fashion show, basically, that happened at the... This is basically what these... Certain stars wore at the show. Notice the snake, the serpent, the devil, the satanic star, the pagan love heart, the rainbow. The list goes on. As you see, the snake, what does the snake represent? Satan, the ser serpent, in the Garden of Eden. As we see the pagan Catholic love heart, the satanic stars over and over again, the snake promoted non-stop, that's what's on this dress, full of occult symbolism, the snake, Satan, the serpent, the devil, I mean it's not really a surprise is it? Then we have Rihanna again, wearing that occult necklace connected to the Egyptians then we are what do we have here notice the BDSM thing again the slave that's what this simulates a slave basically a leash is attached and they pull it they're a slave to the industry because that's what she really is a puppet a puppet of the elite willing to do anything for fame and fortune because she sold out. Then we have here, I mean, it just looks really satanic, the writing. Again, wearing a cross and then wearing the Egyptian cult symbolism and the lightning bolt. As we skate in one eye here, one eye is blocked out, always showing the right eye, occult symbolism, not really a surprise.